I paid $16 for a ticket to see the first six minutes of The Dark Knight Rises in IMAX and come to find out it, it came with a free movie, so I stuck around and I watched it. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. All right, so for me personally, I wasn't really excited for this Mission Impossible movie. Why? Because I saw Night and Day. I mean, it looked like it would be fun, but it looked like fun in that Mission Impossible 2 kind of fun way. All right, so in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the Kremlin gets bombed and Tom Cruise and his crew, they're blamed for it. Kremlin getting bombed is pretty much like the Russian 9-11. You, you don't want that shit to happen. So Tom Cruise and his crew, they're out there, no support whatsoever, and they got to clear their names and find whoever did this. Or get branded as terrorists, get executed, and, you know, war will happen. Yeah, you don't want that. That's a bad day. All right, so Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. It was good, and it was also great. It has some of the most exciting action sequences I've seen this side of the summer movie season. It should have been a summer movie. Why wasn't it? I don't know, because there's probably a lot of assholes like me out there that didn't think it would be good. Turns out it is, so you people like me, you are wrong. Like the scene you saw in the trailer where he's climbing the Dubai Tower. The Dubai Tower is the largest tower in the world. And he has to Spider-Man crawl up the glass. And, of course, things go wrong, things go awry, and it turns out to be one of the most exciting action sequences I've seen, like, all year. And the good thing about the action in this movie is it's not just like oh action sequence oh okay it's over it's like oh action sequence okay it's over it's not over it's still going all right this is awesome it's great it's a man that was awesome and now it's a Oh, it's, it's not, it's, all right, keep going, awesome. And the characters were cool, they were all relevant. It wasn't like the Tom Cruise show, you know, it was a Tom Cruise and crew show. Like the teacher chick from Precious, she's in it, and this just in, she should play Jade in a Mortal Kombat movie. I'm just saying, I'm throwing it out there. I didn't have a teacher that looked like her. If I did, I'd be like, straight A's, you bet. No, I'd probably fail the class, but whatever. And Simon Pegg's in it, and he's really funny. The good thing about Simon Pegg, he has a way of being funny without it being cheesy. I mean, he just has really good comedic timing. And of course, Jeremy Renner's in it, and there were rumors that it was like, okay, Jeremy Renner's gonna be like some sort of Tom Cruise replacement. But one, I don't think he is, and two, he was still a relevant character. Like, not only was his character cool, but there were some surprising character elements to his character that I really liked and I thought really worked for this movie. All in all, exciting action sequences, funny when it needs to be, and it all works. What you get is the best Mission Impossible movie that has ever happened yet. If you can get past the point that, you know, they have this absurd tech that does not exist, but is really awesome. I don't know how they came up with some of this tech. It was almost like the script writer was like, all right, and I want them to walk down a hallway right in front of a guy, like a guard that's not supposed to see them, or make that happen in the script. You need absurd tech to do it that doesn't exist, but they did it, and it was cool as hell. All in all, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol is awesome-tacular. And grasp that, I did not expect to give it this rating, especially after I just watched the first six minutes of The Dark Knight Rises. When you can watch the first six minutes of what you want to see, which is The Dark Knight Rises, and then roll into a movie that you're like, eh, it might be all right, and then have that movie be awesome-tacular, that's something. This movie's cool as hell, go see it. It should have been a summer movie. Now we have a really cool summer movie in winter. All right, so the Mission Impossible movies. What's your favorite Mission Impossible movie? Comment below, let me know. Even if it's two, no one will hate you for it. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.